Beauty Jones Style channel. I'm Beth Jones and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Normally you would see me going into a vintage shop or a thrift store. Today I wanted to bring you guys to a big shopping mall and this is the Irvine Spectrum Center here in Orange County. I wanted to do this video because I've had people ask me, you know, what do you buy at regular stores or do you buy anything and I do. I wanted to let you guys in on that shopping experience. You guys know that I'm mainly like a thrift, vintage, secondhand girl, and I love that, but I really like to mix those in to things that are also current. I like to kind of have those staple pieces that I can easily work into my wardrobe with my kind of more quirky thrift finds as well. In some way, I'm even more picky when I shop at a mall because I'm really not looking for just to fill my whole closet. I do that with my uh, vintage things. For me, it's gonna come down to probably like denim, shoes, or just those staple items that are gonna be my fill-in pieces. And so I wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like this is kind of interesting to kind of see what I choose, what I select, what my budget is, how many things am I gonna buy for my budget. So I thought this would be kind of different, kind of fun. And so I chose the Irvine Spectrum because this is close to where I live and they just opened up a new whole center here with a new H&M and a few new stores that I wanted to check out. I say let's go shopping. The first stop for me is going to be H&M and I think with H&M I'm going to be looking for those pieces that are kind of fill-in pieces. I'm also going to look at their accessories because I do usually like to pick up a few accessories that are super key like great little sunnies. I don't want to spend a ton of money always on sunglasses. I lose them so easily so I'm going to look at sunglasses. Also, I think I'm gonna check out the men's department because I feel like there's some athleisure that I'm really digging these days that I feel like could be really cool from the men's department. So those are the kind of things that I think I'm gonna look for in H&M. You guys often ask where I get a lot of my fun socks and usually H&M is one of those places. These are so cute. I love these. It says love and cherries and little tennis rackets. So fun. Ooh, sparkle socks. Always need sparkle socks. Sunglasses. Try these. Option two. Always check out their earrings and I just found these and they're so fun. You guys know how I love my hoops and these are so big and chunky. Ooh, I also like these too. Okay, I just found a few sweaters that are on sale and they're just really fun. Their colors are really fun and I feel like just when I'm looking for specific colors to kind of work in with all of my other pieces, I feel like this is a good option. I also really like this one here. I'm gonna check out the men's section because I feel like there could be a few things here that I I would like to wear. Liking the idea of these men's sweat shorts in this lavender color. Maybe, maybe with the blazer. Last minute I spotted those jeans. I'm gonna try them as well. But I think that's it. I think I'm just gonna go to the dressing room and try on these few things. Just tried on these and I really love them. And I really like that they're kind of wide leg and cropped. Just feels like something like a good key piece to add to my fall wardrobe. Love this blue sweater. I also got a larger size, so I kind of want to check out to see if I like it really oversized. This is the other size, which I kind of actually like a little more because it makes it to me a little bit more of a statement and dramatic. And I like the idea of pairing this even with like a vintage pleated skirt. The super exaggerated arms. The color is just really fun for this season. These are the sweat shorts, which I really like. I think I like the idea of the black though. I'm not sure about the purple. Here are the black ones, which I really like. It has the feel of wearing the biker short, but it's not as tight. Um, and just kind of an alternative to that. And I also like because of the drawstring, which I don't think, of course, on a man, they're supposed to be worn high waist. But for me, I can wear them high waist. It kind of gives that look that I like anyway. Wearing these with a blazer or an oversized sweater, traveling in these could be really cute. I've just I decided to put a few things on hold that I liked and then I want to go check out a few other stores because I can't make a decision 
until I've seen all my options. I found a few just basic pieces, nothing super crazy. I feel like that's what I like to do is, like I said, I like to find those fill-in pieces that'll just help to build the outfit. I'm really loving those high-waist black denim. I feel like that could be a really great piece. And I did really like the idea of those sweatpant shorts. I mean, I have some trips coming up and the idea of wearing those with like a blazer and a t-shirt or just a big chunky oversized sweater <gasps> or even some crazy, I have this really crazy 80s sweaters tucked in with that and those and some sneakers. That could be so cool. I'm at the denim lab, so they're gonna have more of the premium denim labels, which I'm actually excited to try some of the different styles and kind of see which one I like and which one fits me the best. I'm just gonna try a few high waist skinnies on to see if there's any that I First up is the Levi's. This is the Vintage Soft and it's the High Rise Skinny, which I have to say, I actually really like these. I love a Levi's, of course, but this is kind of more of the, you know, modern, not the 501 look, but just kind of a good staple go-to. So these are 98. I really like the wash of these as well. These are Citizens. They're the High Rise Skinny and these are 189. I do like the dark wash and the crop but I think I like the Levi's a little better. I tried it on a denim skirt. <sighs> denim skirts for me are hard to find the exact thing that I'm looking for. I always want it a little more high waist. I want this a teeny bit longer. So this is not the denim skirt that I need. So I really loved those Levi's. Those are probably my top option from that store. And I don't have just some great classic high waist light wash skinny jeans. The last store I'm gonna go check out is called Unaffected Boutique. It looks like they carry trend pieces and then athleisure. I didn't really see anything there that was very much me. Taking a little shopping break, my favorite. Pressed juicery. Have you guys had pressed juicery? Freezes. They're the best. Though I'm doing a little detox for the month of December, or what is this, September, and I'm not having any sweets. Even though it's kind of not a sweet, it's kind of a sweet. So I'm just having a juice today then instead. I want to hit up one other store that is a shoe store. You guys know I love Steve Madden, and they have some really <gasps> Here they are. Oh, so good. I really love those shoes. I don't think I'm going to end up getting them today, but I am thinking about them. See, the more I'm thinking, the more I'm leaning towards just getting a few things from H&M. Here is what I ended up deciding. I decided to only get two things. I decided to go to H&M. I got this sweater and I got it in the large because I actually liked it really oversized. And I also decided to get the black sweat shorts because I just feel like that'll be a really fun piece to kind of throw in with outfits just kind of in the everyday, dress it up, dress it down. I decided not to get the Levi's right now. I still wanna think about them. For me, spending $100 on a pair of jeans is totally worth it. I just, when I spend $100, I wanna really make sure that that is for sure what I wanna do. And so it usually has to be something I've thought about for a while or I've tried on, like I tried those pair on, and then I think about and decide, do I wanna buy those jeans? Then I love those shoes, but for right now, I don't feel like I need to have them. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was an interesting look into how I approach shopping in stores that aren't thrift and vintage shops. And like I said a million times probably, but I do kind of think of it as a little bit of my fill-in pieces. Today was a little bit different. I feel like usually I would have kind of found some very key classic pieces to invest in and then mix in. I didn't find as many of those today. I really just found a few little fun things to kind of add a little something 
to my fall wardrobe, so you will definitely see me be wearing that big oversized blue sweater. I love the idea of wearing that blue sweater with other color blocking, so my Ghani jeans, that would be amazing, my orange Ghani jeans, or any other solid colors I have in my wardrobe. I also love the idea of pairing it with more blue for a blue on blue look. And then, like I mentioned in the dressing room, I love the idea of wearing it with a maxi pleated skirt, really any skirts kind of thrown over or thrown over slip dresses. So to me, it was a great piece. It was $17. I love the color and it just felt like a fun buy. The sweatshorts are just kind of, I, I don't know why I'm flying next weekend and so I keep thinking that would be so great on the plane. Throw on a t-shirt, throw on a blazer, and I'm good to go. So those are my thoughts. That is honestly how I shop today, the decisions I made, and you guys kind of saw me thinking different things along the day, and I do like to take my time and make sure I, you know, spend my money the way that I want to and feels good for me. Also, I had so much fun at Irvine Spectrum, seriously. They've just renovated, and so there were so many kind of really cool things. I definitely will be coming back here with my family because my boys will love so many of the cool, like, jungle gym stuff that they have here and it just it felt a little bit like a spa in some areas when i got my juice it felt so nice <sighs> i hope this was a kind of different and fun look into just a different approach to shopping for me and if you like this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel i have new videos every single thursday always play dress up and i'll see you guys later bye don't ever find a dance i'm just like that too.